How has documentary filmmaking evolved? You look at something like Grey Gardens, which was beautiful in its own right, but then you see <coughs> something like Searching for Sugar Man, and it seems like filmmaking nowadays is so much faster. The editing is just quicker. How have we changed as an audience so that uh, filmmaking is what it is in terms of this fast cutting? Well, it's, it, it, is, it reflects the same kind of a attention span that all forms of filmmaking commercial making, television, all of that has become faster. So Grey Gardens is going to look slow. Um, so yes, everything is faster. If you look at Grey Gardens, um, it is of a different era and it's also cinema verite, which is supposedly a, f like a fly on the wall style of filmmaking. Some would argue that you're never a fly on the wall. The minute you have a cameraman in a room, you're influencing the events. But um, we talk about different styles of documentaries in, in the class and Cinema Verite is certainly a, 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 one of the earlier forms of documentary filmmaking where so you're just observing an event. Searching for Sugar Man is something much, what's much more constructed or uh, you're adding visual and uh, oral textures to it. You're using music in a very dramatic way, you're using sound effects in a very dramatic way, uh, graphics, animation. Uh, Errol Morris does the same thing with his montages. You're actually constructing uh, uh, scenarios to support your story that are completely completely created by the filmmaker. Uh, there's, a se there's several sequences in The Fog of War. Errol, Errol Morris takes what normally would have been just a, a picture of a B-29 over Tokyo. But because he likes to construct his documentaries, he'll cut the plane out, he'll make the props spin around, and he'll, he'll just do things that kind of take you to a different place, so you're observing it in a different way. It's more of an entertainment style, but it's also more of a, you're kind of looking at it in a different way than, a, than perhaps a documentary you would see on BBC about World War II. So there are different styles. The cutting is faster today, no doubt about it. And um, uh, the other documentaries we talk about, you know, the, so there was a cinema, ver cinema verite, which is observational. Then there's something that might be called participatory, which is the kind of filmmaking that Michael Moore does or Morgan Spurlock, where the filmmaker doesn't pretend that he's a fly on the wall. In fact, it's the exact opposite. He, they become part of the action. They, they're a character in their own movie. Uh, and then there's the, the more uh, routine or uh, documentary we see on television is like Frontline. And that's kind of an expository style where you have the voice of God narrator t taking you down the path. Ken Burns does that as well. So um, we look at the different styles of documentaries and we also look on, on, in every one of those forms, things are faster, things do move quicker. And yet sometimes you can, you can play against that and slow it down to effect. So there's always a context for the, the, you know, the way you're, you're shooting and cutting a documentary.